When I heard the Vision Pro was coming out, I was beyond excited. It was going to be the perfect tool to help us design our dream home. Now, the workshop garage is already under construction, but the house design is still up in the air. That is where the Vision Pro comes in. I imagined my wife using it to view the build and the materials. I imagined myself using it to design and model. It was going to be perfect, a game changer, amazing. But the reality is the workflow is a little bit messy. It turns out there is no easy way for multiple users to quickly view content on the headset. And even though everybody who tries the device loves it, It's not the perfect tool to design our house yet. And I say yet because a lot of the limitations should be overcome shortly. And it gives a really cool look at the future. Here, to show you what I mean, let's walk through our current design process. Every new design we make begins in SketchUp. As needed, Amanda will come in and collaborate at the desk. We'll make basic screenshots and sleep on them. I used to try and render, but that took way more time than it was worth. So now we just export a shot with basic color and materials. Then we use the new diffusion tool built into SketchUp to render out a line drawing and then a stylized color drawing. Finally, we create layers in Pixelmator Pro, blend the pictures together, and get an interesting output that tries to capture the, the look and feel of the space. At the end, I might make an animated fly through with the finalized design before sending the plans to layout for construction drawings. So with that in mind, where does Vision Pro fit in? My first hope was that it would improve my modeling and focus. I began testing this out by modeling a staircase with the headset on. Keep in mind that every native app you see from inside the headset looks amazing. Screen recordings do not do it justice. I started in one of the many beautiful, immersive environments with SketchUp mirrored from my iMac. I worked on a design that is not common for me, so it required research and references. I had to get up for a drink. I always need my wife's opinion at some point, but she can't see what I see, so I have to mirror to her computer. I'm two hours into this model. This may look awesome, but it does have a few problems. Sure, working on a huge monitor sitting in the mountains is amazing. Doubly so for improving my focus. But there are issues. <laughs> Not just the fact that you will not have to drink coffee out of a straw with a tethered weight on your forehead. No, the most pressing issue is that the magic mouse is not supported across all virtual windows. The trackpad is, the keyboard is, but not the mouse yet. And while the native Vision Pro apps and windows are amazingly crisp, the Mac mirroring window has a bit of a blur. This makes you want to use the native VR windows more but without mouse support, your workflow is compromised. And since SketchUp for iPad was not flagged as Vision Pro compatible, native modeling is not an option. Now, you should know that I'm not a huge fan of SketchUp's window management. I go as far as to use my iPad as a sidecar to hide the ugly windows. I was hoping I could jump into Vision Pro and either use the SketchUp iPad app, which has decent design, or mirror multiple Mac screens to overcome this. Unfortunately, neither is possible. So while there is hope, Vision Pro doesn't improve my modeling workflow yet. Trimble, if you're listening, please improve the SketchUp Mac app and please make the iPad app compatible with Vision Pro. I don't know if my digital eyes are conveying the frustration, but it would make life a lot easier. Moving on with a freshly designed model, I couldn't wait to view it in fully immersive virtual reality. If VR is amazing, I don't have to spend time on stylized drawings or fly-throughs anymore. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to keep waiting because for the life of me, I could not figure out how to view a SketchUp model in immersive VR. 
I usually try to avoid clunky or paid extensions like SimLab or VR Sketch whenever possible. But in this case, even those don't support Vision Pro. SketchUp doesn't yet export to GLTF files, but there are extensions that do that. I exported and tried to view them on Sketchfab, but that doesn't appear to support Vision Pro either. Browsing immersive web, it is clearly possible because I have found examples that work and look great. Viewing these required me to enable new test feature flags in the Safari settings. Then I discovered a temporary solution. I wrote a little bit of code using the A-Frame JavaScript library and hosted the GLTF file on my website. That finally allowed me to view my model in immersive VR. Now while I enjoy writing scripts that format my models and publish them to my site just as much as the next guy, there has to be an easier way. I could not figure out how to walk through the model. I tried an Xbox controller and hand gestures. No luck. I couldn't preserve scenes or shadows. If an elegant solution exists, I could not find it. While there is hope, it looks like VR plus SketchUp plus Vision Pro is not there quite yet. Much like the SketchUp for iPad app has an awesome View in AR button, I hope to see a similar built-in View in VR button when wearing the Vision Pro. Speaking of AR, that is the one place where everything is starting to come together and you can imagine a virtual future. You can view AR models directly from within SketchUp for iPad, or you can send a text message to someone and they can view the design in AR on their phone or iPad. It can be enlarged to one-to-one -one scale so that something like a walkway width in the kitchen can accurately be felt. And then even cooler, it can be viewed while wearing the Vision Pro. It may not look like much, but this little model looks real and the scale is informative. You can walk around it, enlarge it, get your head in there and get a feel for the space. It's impressive. Best of all, the workflow is easy. I just save out a USDZ file to our network attached storage or iCloud and Amanda can view them in her own time on her own device. Just as easily, email or a website like Sketchfab does work here. It's no different than sending or viewing a JPEG. No downloads, no software, no plugins. It's perfect. AR with Vision Pro feels great. I imagine that simple, easy to use VR will get there soon as well. Back to the question at hand. How does the Vision Pro improve our custom home design workflow? At the moment, it really doesn't. So it just sits at the desk. I pick it up for work occasionally, for entertainment often. SketchUp and third-party support is just not there yet. But it's coming, and it looks promising for when it does get here. Until then, you can find me Relaxing on the moon, watching a movie in my private 100-foot theater. Mm -hmm.